Welcome back to my channel, Saving with Christina, and happy Walmart Wednesday! Today I'm going to tell you about the best deals that I grabbed at Walmart for the week. So I was able to get all of these items completely free. So I was able to snag some awesome deals this week. What I liked is that there were some new deals and it wasn't just the same old stuff. I feel like some of the deals have been around for a while, like these multi meals that I can't stop grabbing. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through all of that here in just a moment. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And if you enjoy the content of my videos, please give it a thumbs up. All right, so let me tell you about the multi meal deal really quick. I've done it the last few weeks. What I've been doing is grabbing two of the Berry Colossal Crunch at $3.48. Because there is a Shop Kick offer for 1,700 kicks back when you buy two. So it's a bundle deal. You buy the berry and you buy an any Malto Meal cereal. So I've been buying two of these because they are the cheapest ones at my store at $3.48 a piece and then getting 1700 kicks back, which is $6.80, making them like eight cents a bag or something crazy cheap. But for some reason, it is taking forever for Shopkick to process that receipt. So I thought this time I'll grab one of the berries at $3.48 and then I grabbed the cinnamon toasters at $3.98. So I paid $7.46, getting $6.80 back on the Shopkick app. So that makes each of these bags just 33 cents each, which is still an amazing deal. Um, even if this is not a cereal that you would eat, it's still a great deal to be able to donate to the food bank. I tried it out in order to see if the receipt would process faster, buying two different types versus buying the same bag twice. Um, the offer has been pending since, I want to say about this yesterday. So it's been pending about 24 hours, which isn't unreasonable, but a lot of times Shopkick rebates will process really fast. And for some reason lately, I feel like they've been taking a lot longer. Um, so it will get processed. I purchased the correct things. I will get the 1700 kicks back, making them just 33 cents a bag. So it's a great deal. If your store has the $1 bags, it makes for a huge money maker. My store does not have the $1 bags. Uh, if you're new to Shopkick and you haven't used it before, I have a complete video tutorial on how to use that app. Um, if you use my referral code for Shopkick, you will get additional kicks back when you scan your first receipt. So I think it's definitely worth using uh, a referral code. All right. Ibotta freebies. There were quite a few Ibotta freebies this week. Um, one that ended up a money maker are these Baby Bell Plus Probiotic Cheeses. So these were actually found with the other cheese items in my store um, with like the meat products. So I thought maybe it would be up like with the produce. It wasn't. It was over with the other cheese and meat um, products. They're $3.78. Ibotta is giving $3.78 back, but there is also a $1 coupon that I'm going to link for you in the printable Google document. Or uh, before I noticed that that coupon was available, I just submitted my receipt to the coupons.com app and got a dollar back on this product, making it free and a $1 moneymaker. So check the printable Google document that I post in the video description below because I will link that coupon for you. Also a freebie, these Werther's Originals. So in the Ibotta app, the picture is of the Werther's um, soft caramels, but my store didn't have them. So I went ahead and scanned the hard candies and they did qualify for the offer as well. They are priced at $2.18. Ibotta is giving $2.18 back. But there was also on my app a 10 cents back on any candy. So this became free and a 10 cent moneymaker. The last freebie, and it actually popped up while I was in the store today shopping. Um, to be quite honest, the name creeps me out a little bit. It's called Candy Kittens. They're priced at $1.48. 
and you get a dollar 48 on Ibotta. The bag is pretty little. I didn't know what to look for because when you're on the uh, Ibotta app and it's a new product that you've never seen before, it's hard to know kind of what size it is. So it's small. I found it near the self checkout. So this was not on the candy aisle. It was by self checkout on one of the racks there right before you go in to check out. So it's some kind of sour watermelon gummy type thing. Um, but a freebie on the Ibotta app right now. If you don't have the Ibotta app yet, definitely grab it. Using my referral link will unlock up to $20 in welcome bonuses for you. Um, so make sure you check that out. A product that I've never bought before, and I'm just hoping that I pronounce it correctly, is the Nicolina's frozen entrees. There were a number of different things that you could choose from. I grabbed like mac and cheese wheels thinking my kid might eat it. They're only priced at 88 cents each and Ibotta has an offer for a dollar back when you buy three. So that makes it uh, $2.64 for all three. You get the dollar back on Ibotta to $1.64 for all three or just 54 cents each. Now, in the printable Google document, I'm going to link a coupon for you that I grabbed off of their website. It's a dollar off any five products. So if you like these, you already know you like this brand, you could grab five, use the dollar off five coupon, and then get a dollar back because you're buying at least three items on the Ibotta app, making it uh, an even better deal. Okay, I think that was all the food items. Quick workout update. Yesterday, I was super lucky. I got to go on two long walks with friends. So I got to get my exercise in, in the beautiful weather while chatting with my friends. So that was fun. Today, I plan to jump on the treadmill and get a nice run in. All right, this deal comes and goes. It's been around for a while. This Suave 2-in-1 Men's um, Shampoo and Conditioner, this is $1.98. I have a $1.50 off coupon from the March 28th Smart Source, making this just $0.48. Cents. Now, definitely scan your receipt to the Fetch Rewards app. I did not have a specific offer for the Suave anymore. I guess I had redeemed mine already, but you're always going to get some points back for submitting a receipt, but you're also going to get additional points back because Suave is one of the brands that Fetch Rewards will give points for. So if you're new to Fetch Rewards, definitely check them out. They will oftentimes have freebies just like the Ibotta app will have freebies where you buy the item and then you get 100% uh, cash back in points. All right, another deal on the Fetch Rewards app is on the Sensodyne. Toothpaste, someone asked me about this on my Walgreens video. Now, this is the travel size. So it's a small one. It's priced at $1.47. I had an offer on Fetch for $1.50 back or 1,500 points when you purchase one. So I submitted my receipt. It did not grab it immediately. It grabbed the swab and gave me 50 points back but it did not uh, recognize the Sensodyne. So at the very bottom, after I submitted, it said uh, like correct receipt or there was an issue. I hit that and I said, hey, about the Sensodyne. Within like an hour, they had given me the 1500 points. So it was super simple to do a receipt correction with Fetch Rewards. So that was a great deal. Uh, I did this one last week on the Dove soap. This one was 97 cents. So this is the Dove Beauty Bar, 97 cents. Shopkick has an offer specifically for the Dove Beauty Bar and it's giving back 435 kicks. So that is equivalent to $1.74, making this bar free and a 77 cent moneymaker. So with uh, the Shopkick app, every 250 points is equivalent to a dollar. So like for this, for 435, I divide by 250 to determine how much money I'll get back for purchasing the product. Um, couple of Revlon deals. The Revlon Kiss, and I actually love this product. It's the um, coconut one, tropical coconut. It's priced at $3.74. 
There is a $2 off coupon in the March 28th Smart Source. So you'll pay $1.74, you'll get $2 back on Ibotta for buying a Revlon lip product. So that makes the total free and a 26 cent moneymaker. Also look for Revlon products on your clearance aisle. So this is the Revlon Color Stay Aqua Mineral Makeup. They had the clearance sticker stuck over the name of the product. So I tried to move it, but of course it fell apart. Uh, this was marked down to $5. Now there is a $3 off any Revlon face product coupon in that March 28th Smart Source. So I paid $2. But on the Ibotta app, uh, if you buy a Revlon face product, they give you $3 back. So this was free and a dollar moneymaker. So definitely check your clearance aisle. Um, I know a lot of people have been able to find some health and beauty products. Look for um, hair dye. Uh, my store did not have any marked on clearance anymore. They were already sold out. But you can uh, combine that clearance price with coupons from the March 28th Smart Source or on coupons.com. There's a couple for the Clairol, nice and easy, and rebates on Ibotta to score a fantastic deal. My store just did not have any of that hair dye marked on clearance. All right, last beauty deal that I grabbed is on the Neutrogena 21 count. Now it has to be the 21 count. Okay, these are priced at $4.97. I had a $3 off any one Neutrogena cosmetic item. This is um, considered a cosmetic item, the 21 count. For some reason, that one specifically is considered cosmetic. I got that coupon from coupons.com a little while ago. It wasn't an expired coupon, but I don't think it's available any longer. I'm gonna place a link in the printable Google document to where I got the coupon but I can't promise you it's still gonna be available. Hopefully it will come back. $4.97 minus that $3 coupon. I paid $1.97. I got $3 back on Ibotta for buying um, a Neutrogena, I think it was Healthy Skin purchase. And so that made it free and a dollar and three cent moneymaker. Last deal I did, last deal I'm gonna to mention to you is actually the first deal I grabbed is on the Clorox Splashless Bleach. So this is the uh, 1.25 quart. So it's the smaller ones. They are priced at $2.48 each. When you buy two of them, Swagbucks will give you $3. Okay, so I bought two at $2.48. That's a total of $4.96. And then the Swagbucks app gave me $3 back, making it $1.96 for both or just 98 cents each. Couple of things with Swagbucks. I would buy these if you're gonna do this deal or any Swagbucks deal, buy it on its own receipts. Okay, don't buy it with a whole mess of groceries as well. It will become problematic. I always buy the Swagbucks deals on their own receipt. I submit it to Swagbucks, that way they don't have any reason to get confused because it's a computer that's scanning your receipt looking for the correct products. So I bought two of these, submitted my receipt right there at the register, and it immediately gave me the $3 back. If you are new to Swagbucks and you use my referral code, you'll get an additional $3 back when you sign up and scan your first receipt. So that's a pretty awesome deal. All right, so I think that is everything that I got for this week. Ibotta was good to us with the little freebies, um, and it's something new and different. There was, some people were getting a Good Mood, which is um, some kind of milk. I think it's a plant-based milk offer. So check your Ibotta out for that. I did not receive that offer, uh, which is why you don't see it here. Uh, but if you have that, definitely check for that when you are at the store. Hope y'all are having an awesome week. I can't believe it's Wednesday. I feel like I just did the video for Monday, but somehow it is already Wednesday. So hope y'all are having a great week and I will see you soon.